hello you guys welcome back to my channel okay this reading if you already seen the caption y'all already know what it is it's about to be on diddy sean booty bandit combs you feel me on him and his situation with cassie and guess what the reading with carisha him and carisha coming next because we about to get that we about to see what they got going on too because you feel me you never know she might be in danger too but I think Carisha is smart. I think she really did for the money. I don't think she's the type that's going to let it, you know, anybody do anything to her. But you never know. We're going to get into it, okay? We definitely going to get into it. So, y'all, it's Scorpio season. You feel me? And with all these allegations and stuff, allegedly, I have to say this reason for entertainment purposes only. Because, you know, I'm not trying to get caught up. You feel me? I have to let y'all know this for entertainment purposes only. Let's see what is going on. With the situation with Diddy and Cassie, okay? We're going to pull out the crime deck too, but let's see what the cards have to say about Diddy and Cassie and the court case and how he treated her during the relationship. I mean, I believe her and I believe everything she said is true. Please let us know about the situation with Diddy. Now, if you don't know, hmm, the snake, someone that lies, cheats, does things in a sneaky way how was p diddy treating p diddy treating cassie during their relationship is the allegation now if you don't know the allegations that's come out she is suing him for 30 million dollars and quite frankly i think she should get more because this man is a whole billionaire you feel me she can get way more than that she can get way more so she's suing him for s a which if you know what that means assault you know taking advantage of her giving her private parts away to males let me tell you there's a report i'm gonna put the report up here too because i literally went through the whole report the police report the um the court documents it's 35 pages and i read every last single word on the 35 page and what he did to her oh my god he allegedly allegedly yep allegedly he would give her um and do sexual things force her to do sexual things with other men in front of her in front of him and look she just wanted to be a star okay let's let's start with this now because i feel like this really might be all over the place anyway she's she's alleging that he assaulted her uh, S trafficked her, that he abused her physically, emotionally, abused her, and that he, her career didn't go the way it was supposed to because of her leaving him and he didn't do what he was supposed to do with her career. The first part we got is a snake, y'all. Someone that lies, that's deceptive, and that's just like uncharlie, someone that you can't trust. We have the cross, which talks about grief, burden, big problems. We got the child. You know, she was 19 years old when she met Diddy. She was very young. We got the tree, which talks about health, spirituality, karma, things coming back from the past. With this situation right now coming on, it's come back from the past. We got the clouds, which talks about negativity, um, unclarity. It can also talk about a threat and a cover-up as well, too. We got this ship, which talks about movement and travel, a journey. And we got the star. She wanted to be a star. She wanted goals. But, you know, it was conflict with her trying to achieve those goals, you know, with this whip. Physical abuse and pain. Y'all y'all see this, what they say? Conflict, debate, hard work, pu abuse, pain, physical activity. And look, the mountains of... Um, the mountains will talk about delays. There was delays in this. Mm -mm -mm. And the fox. And the lilies. The lilies. This is another deck. So in my other deck, the lilies talk about sexuality, sexual relationships and stuff like that. But the lily can also talk about old age and, and you know, being older. But all the other decks that I use, the lily talks about, you know, sexual relationships with someone of relationship and from these cards right here is is showing exactly what she say is true what else about cassie anything what about cassie 
in her situation now? Why is she coming out now with this right now? Why is she currently coming out with this now? I don't think it's about the money. I feel like it's just time. Why is she coming out with this now? Home family. It's like she has a family now. Um, It talks about security. It's like she has a family. And she just wants to like, it seems like she wants to, yeah, she wants to move on with her life. She wants to um just move on, have happiness, and just, she wants the truth to come out. She's ready for her truth. It talks about um she has she feel like she has friends that's gonna back her up. She got ally. She got support from somebody that is gonna support her in this journey for her to be able to come out. At first, maybe she didn't have the support. She probably didn't have the support that she needed before to come out, but now she do have the support. Yep, she didn't have the support, but now she's happy in her new life. And it's just like this one thing is just tying her down, weighing down on her. But it's also about money, too. It talks about business, finances, gain. It's also about money, too, um, and, and commitment. You know, deals, cycles, partnerships, you know. She felt like maybe she didn't get the good end of the stick when it came to business. Yep, it talks about, the, and maybe maybe her financial situation is not what she needs it to be right now, also as well, too. And she feel like this is the right opportunity, this is the right time right now. Yep, this is her. And there's talking about a loss in some kind of way, an ending, a transformation. She's going through a transformation period. She's going through this transformation period. I don't know why this coffin is here. It can talk about transformation, sadness, loss, and it can also talk about transformations too. What else? One more. Yeah. This been weighing on her. This been a burden on her. Um, it's been on her mind heavy for like a very, very long, a very long time. Um, very long time. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Give me the situation on Cassie and Diddy during their relationship. Trapped. She felt trapped. She couldn't get away from him. She tried to run away from this man plenty of times. And his people, he got his goons to come back and search for her. She could not, um, she could not get away from him. It took for her to meet her now husband for her to get away from him. She felt trapped. She couldn't go nowhere. He lured her with money. And, you know, in the court documents, it says she had a boyfriend at the time when she met Diddy. She really didn't even want to be with him, but he kind of forced her to be with him. Yep, he was obsessed with her. It talks about um, makes threats of bodily harm, mental instability, won't take no for an answer. Look at that. Won't take no for an answer. He forced her to be with him. She never wanted to really be with him. But because she felt like he could help her career, she, you know, she went along with it. But she regrets it. She, re she, she regrets doing that. Because at the end of the day, it wasn't, it wasn't worth it, all, all that she went through. And he was stalking her. He probably still be stalking her. He still be watching her and stuff like that and you know and and keep tabs on her. He probably still keep tabs on her. What about now? What about now? Yep, again, stalking you. He still like watches her today. Still be keeping tabs on her. Still be keeping tabs on her. And you know what? Drug addiction. Also, in the court documents, also, in the court documents, it stated allegedly. Now, this ain't alleged. It's, it's, it's a, for the public to see. I will post it for y'all, too. Inside of the court documents, it stated he would give her drugs. She never been on drugs before. She gave her all type of drugs and stuff like that. When they would go on these, these um, trips to <clears throat> hotels and motels and stuff like that. They would go on these trips and he would force her to do acts with men and he would drug her and make her take drugs during that time. Yep, selfish actions. It says materialistic. It says greedy, only look out, out for themselves. Like she had tried to get away from him. It says fitness obsessed. Someone is very obsessed with fitness. And someone was is mentally unstable. 